<sighs> wow. Oof. Hey, what's up guys? This is Two Awesome Men, and we just got done seeing the movie Hacksaw Ridge, directed by Mel Gibson. And it stars Andrew Garfield, Trissa Palmer, Vince Vaughn, Sam Worthington, and Hugo Weaving. It's a pretty awesome cast. Yeah, and this movie um, is actually nominated for six Oscars, I believe, this year. And it's actually really easy to see why, because this is by far probably one of the best movies of 2016 that I've seen so far, and I'm kind of mad that I saw this after my top five video yeah. on video because this movie is pretty amazing. So far we've seen four of the nine movies that were nominated for Best Picture this year and by far this is my favorite so far that I've seen. Yeah, to me this is kind of a cross so far between this movie and La La Land but I'm not positive yet. This movie was fantastic and I almost had, I basically had nothing wrong with this movie. So what this movie is about is a uh, guy who's a Christian and he comes from a really Christian family. It's around the time period of World War II and he wants to enlist in the army, but he doesn't believe in killing. So he wants to join the army as a medic. It's actually a true story about Desmond Doss who saved about 75 people in one battle mm -hmm. without using a gun or anything. Never even held a gun during the war and it was yeah. pretty amazing to watch and pretty, it was great writing, great dialogue in every way. In this movie, you know, you have Andrew Garfield. I was really surprised by his acting, in all honesty. Right. I mean, I, he was playing the movie The Social Network, which I thought he should have been nominated for, but he did fantastic in that movie. But he did, like, really good in this movie. And Andrew Garfield's acting in this movie is actually so good that when the actual son of the actual Desmond Doss, which is the character that uh, Andrew Garfield played in this movie, saw this movie, he was brought to tears by the accurate portrayal of his dad by Andrew Garfield. The acting was so yeah. amazing in this movie, especially the surprising thing was Vince Vaughn. I didn't realize that Vince Vaughn was in this movie until I saw him in the movie actually. And I was sort of, uh, sort of uh, hesitant because he's known for comedy, you know. Mm -hmm. But he actually did really good. He plays a sergeant in this movie. Yeah, the acting in this movie was very fantastic. We got Hugo Weaving who had a lot of good roles. Teresa Palmer, she didn't have a whole bunch of scenes, but she did, she did good as well. But it, overall, it was just amazing acting, great story and everything. A lot of great things that came out of this movie was, I'm, I mean, I know we have a lot of hatred for Mel Gibson, but I'm not going to actually put that in this review. I'm not going to knock it off because there's no reason to. Mm -hmm. My thing is the, direct, the directing in this movie is really amazing. A lot of the shots in this movie were filmed beautifully, mm -hmm. like just amazingly from the direction and the cinematography was just amazing. And another big thing was there is a very... <laughs> Intense scene in this movie. Yeah, it's like a 20 minute long scene. I, I, I won't give any, any of it away, but it's just an intense 20 minute section of the movie. It was just like mind blowing. I tell you, man, my heart was pounding that entire time. It was a fantastic scene. That scene itself showed me why this movie deserved an Oscar. It was exactly. an Oscar nomination. Exactly. This movie was just blew, this movie blew me away. I honestly thought I was going to like this movie, but it really went over my standards. Yeah, I'm the, exact, I'm the exact same way. It really went way over the my expectations I had for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please, nobody nobody look at I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of the new Spider-Man movies, but do not look at those Spider-Man movies for Andrew Garfield's acting, okay? Look at movies like Social Network and definitely look at movies like Hacksaw Ridge because Andrew Garfield hit it out of hit it out of the ballpark for this one guys and then one thing about this movie that really showed what it wanted like it really believed in its audience was the fact that it it took time this movie did I'm not it wasn't slow by any means it was not slow but there, there's a big chunk of this movie that wasn't in war and a big chunk of this movie but it, it was needed there was no reason for it to not be there and it trusted its audience to know why they put that there and why we were wanting to watch this. They, were, they knew that their prime audiences weren't those people who just want explosions all over the place, which you'll get, but you won't get that for a while, and it's, it's just a truly compelling story even before that point. It's a two and a half hour movie, but honestly, while sitting there watching it, it didn't feel like two and a half hours because some of the shots were filmed. They were just so intense, and it was, the story was so compelling. It just didn't feel like a two and a half hour long movie. And yes, I'm going to say another good thing I love about this movie because there's so much to talk about in this movie and that is the growth between characters. There were so many, there's characters in this movie and it's, I'm not going to say you didn't know they're going to get this way, but it just, I mean, I mean, obviously it's just because it's a true story, but 
there, there was just so much growth, and it was so such a natural growth for most of most of the characters. And between the characters, it was so amazing to see this growth, especially between uh, Andrew Garfield and his sergeants. And I especially loved uh, Andrew Garfield's character and his dad in the movie. Their relationship with each other is one big part that I loved about this movie. So one minor issue that I have with this movie, which it really isn't even an issue because it's very, it's very, very minimal for me. When he meets his love interest at the beginning of the movie, I feel like it sort of grew a little too fast, it was a little rushed, but honestly it, didn't, it wasn't that big of a problem with me. I'm just like, as I'm looking through this movie, trying to critique it, that's like the only, only issue that I have. Yeah, but even that issue, you could still, even though it was a little quick, and I didn't, I didn't have an issue with it right, at yeah, all, yeah. but even though it was a little quick, you could still feel the love that was between those two. Yeah, it, it didn't take away anything from this movie. Alright guys, well I so, I so badly recommend y'all watching this movie, because this movie had me like off of the edge of my seat the entire time. And I'm gonna actually say one more thing. There was barely any cussing in this movie. I mean, yeah, it's a rated R movie, but there, yeah, like you said, there's barely any cussing. I at think all. The, the only reason why this movie was rated R was because of the gore. So if you can get past that, this movie was just so amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Hacksaw Ridge an A. Like I said earlier, this is definitely by far my favorite of the four of the nine best picture movies that we've seen so far. So I'm gonna give Hacksaw Ridge an A+. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, make sure to comment below, let us know what you thought about this movie, and let us know what you thought about this review also. Uh, also, you can check in the description, we're gonna go ahead and put our reviews of the other uh, Oscar nominated movies that we've done so far. And guys, don't forget to follow us on social media. We have a Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Two Awesome Men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe as well. And like always, uh, thank you again, and you will see us later.